Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US tech stocks. We're going to look at the NASDAQ and we're going to look at the S&P quickly as well. And then we'll go into more detail on the indices, obviously, in the indices video. With the NASDAQ here, this is probably the count. We're just going to have a look at a couple of counts, but this is probably the correct count at this point. Now, when we're looking at stocks, we're going to be looking some with this wave three in it and some with this wave three and we're going to work it. So we're in a corrective uh, pattern, as you know, and it looks like we're going to be uh, in that for a little while. So we'll need to work that and we'll get some understanding of that particular pattern and we'll know a little bit more about it as it, um, as it opens up. Now, some folks have said to me, well, Pete, is there a top in place uh, here? Can can we get a top from this low here? Well, we can do that, and I've done it this way here. Um, but I'm not prepared to go there. I mean, it looks good. Uh, I'm just not prepared to go there uh, just yet in it. Because one of the things we normally do um, is, you know, we get a couple of down days or whatever, and we start to panic on, on that. And, you know, we can see some of the uh, ETFs uh, sort of topping uh, as well. And they do have nice counts up. So it, it's, it's quite possible that there is a top in play. But um, I'm not going to go there just yet with it. So this is the this is the probable count here at this stage, and what we're going to do is going to work through this. Um, we're going to have another look at one with a wave three sitting uh, here as well. So just on the daily chart here. So this wave three here. Currently we have three waves down here. So. Uh, on the S&P, we've got five waves down, but on this one here, we've got three waves down, and that means that uh, it's highly likely we're going to, I'll just sort of do this here, it's highly likely we're going to get this type of, you know, correction coming into uh, into play here. But like I said, we've got three waves in this particular move so far, so we'll go in and uh, have a look at that, but uh, yeah, we just need to give it a little bit of time and work through it, so counting that down from the top here in this case is that we can look at it as an A wave, a B wave. And the thing with wave four, you know, with uh, with Elliott wave, there's, you know, so let's just say there's a dozen corrections without having an argument about it. Um, so those dozen corrections can all happen in, in a wave four, okay? Now, um, what I normally do in a, in a in the first instance in a in a move down is I just really want to see if it's in three waves or five waves because um, if it's in three waves uh, then we can pretty much half those dozen different types of corrections and then we're working with um, you know uh, like if we're getting three waves down here at the moment we. We could be in a triangle pattern, you know, as a three-wave move, and, and this will become the A wave, the B, the C, the D, and the E over here. Or we could have a ABC for a, a WXY, or we could have a flat correction, and there's three different types of flat corrections as well. So it is a little bit complicated. So this is the time to... Um, observe and you know have a look at other markets and and see how we can sort of get some understanding of it you know the sooner the better now we might get to the stage where you know we'll need to look at this as wave one to the downside and wave two uh, uh, here as well and then all of this is I've got this as an A and a B and a C wave down to here and We've got a bit more to come down here at this stage. I, I get it. Not a lot, though. Um, so, you know, we can push up at that point. We may even get this, you know, we may push up here and get another one down, and that would give us our five waves down. Then we know if we got five waves down, then we're going to have an ABC back for sure, and then down again, because really, if we've just got three waves down, it's quite possible we could go up at that point. But really, I don't think that's the case of us going up at this point, because, um, you know, if we're in this degree of wave four or the next one higher, then we'd want to see a larger correction than, than, than what we have at the moment, you know. And the other thing, too, is that, you know, we've got the arrival here, the reaction, the first high above the level here. So really, in a way, we're looking for 
this particular correction here. So we know that we've got the first, if that's the 20,000 here for the NASDAQ, we know we've got the first high over here. So we're looking for some type of corrective pattern that we're working through. How far it comes down, how big and ugly it's going to get, well, these are the things that we need to uh, work through. And sometimes, you know, I like to, well, most of the time I like to just, well, I'm, I do half a dozen tech stocks and keep an eye on the banks and a few other markets just to get an idea of what the S&P and the, the NASDAQ is doing, you know. So putting that to the uh, putting that to the side, and we're looking at the S&P here, so we can, <coughs> without going into too much detail, we can also look at this as an, an ABC pattern coming into play here. Now, once again, it quite, could be quite possible we have this wave three here. I want to see how far we actually come down and what it actually looks like, you know. Um, so, yeah, what have I got on the one day here? I uh, love that one, but I just want to have a look. So that moved down from the top here. This is this is um, a little bit different from the NASDAQ, but here we can see that we've got one, two, three. Here we've got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, the third wave, fourth, fifth here. So then we've got the fourth here, then we've got one and two, and it looks like we've got um, from wave two to three, four here. So it looks like there's a little bit more to come down here to finish off, but that would give us five waves down here. That would um, that would give us, you know, that one, two, three, four, and five here. So in that case, we'd look for an A and a B and a C coming back up to the 56 and then we'll come down again at that point so that's that now this top didn't really finish off here very nicely from this point here and it's very difficult to get five waves up here so one could view it as an a and a b and a c here and if that was the case then we could look at this as an a and a b and a c wave down here and then we could actually go up from that point <clears throat> so that's quite possible uh, as well. Um, but let's just have a little look at stocks as we go. So now, <clears throat> um, in today's video, we're going to be having, not on all stocks, but on some stocks that I deem necessary, we'll be looking at the daily chart and the weekly chart in some cases, because normally I just sort of focus on, <clears throat> you know, what's happening in the here and now and not look at the bigger picture. So in this instance uh, here, we've got the same sort of thing uh, happening. Um, <clears throat> I've got it as a wave three to four here. And uh, yeah, so let's just go in and have a little look at, at this little area here. And we normally do that on the 1000 ticks. So in this instance here, I can look at this as one and two here, and one, two, three, four, five, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. Now, I don't have five waves down here just yet. Um, so I can't say for sure that we're going to have the A wave, the B wave, and the C wave here, right? So I don't know that yet. If, however, um, this drops down as one and two here and three, four, five here, then we'll have five waves down. Then we can say that we're going to get an ABC here and then we can go down um, at that point, you know? So um, we just need to sort of wait that out. One of the things that we'll do here is that we've got a few positions in here. Now we can either, um, you know, take some money off the table over here at the 230 area to get things to in, in a healthy position, um, or you could just ride this out here. The, the support's going to come back down here. So that means you'll need to leave, you know, move this stop here in one way or another. So, yeah, let's um, just give that some thought. We don't have to do anything at this at this point because we need to come down here a little bit further. And really the other thing here too, at the 220 here, let's just say that, you know, what we do with stops is that at this level here, we wait for the first low below the level. So you might need to adjust that by a point or two points or whatever to find that low there first. It might be at 217, so you put it at 216, that's fine. It might come down to 215, so then you'd put that at 214. So you can make adjustments for, for this as well to get this you know low in place here because we will be going back up at this point. Okay, so that's Apple and um, 
this is Amazon here and the reason I'm showing this for is because it's got the old high here and normally getting through old highs would always get some sort of um, you know resistance and so on and we've had a fair bit of resistance getting through that but we hit the 200 and it's uh, it's dropped uh, here but this is the bigger picture here I don't think that um, you know that we're going to start some huge bear market or anything of that nature so um, let's just go from this weekly chart here to daily chart and have a look at that structure to the upside so I've got one and two here and then one and two and and I've changed this top area here a little bit but three and four here and then five so in this case this is our first one with a blue wave three in it and a blue wave four coming into play here so it's something that we'll just toy with and we'll see how we can sort of you know move the rest of the markets into that particular uh, space so we're looking at some sort of um, you know reaction from from that level so when we talk about the classic trading levels pattern in this case we're just here right so we're reacting here so we're having the first ABC here and then we'll push up to the top here and then we'll have this correction here so this will be you know the arrival the reaction the first high above the level and then the ABC and this would put this into here into a bigger um, uh, into a bigger degree of structure and such so it's wave one and wave two there so we'll just go straight in and have a little look at this. Obviously, um, as I sort of always mention, that we've got a really good consolidation in Group 2 here, 65, 165, 172, and 180. That's all of minor Group 2, and it struggled at this point. And what that, that's good for when we come over here because it actually creates the support here, and we can see the you know, your indicators are sort of suggesting the same. So we know there's going to be some sort of bounce at that at this point. Now, um, the way four could be really simple. We could put way four into this place here, or we could expect an ABC pattern. So we've really got to go in and work the structure uh, within this space uh, here. So what I was doing here, I was looking at the worst case scenario and looking at this as one and two and three, four and five down for the A wave here. Now I probably could put wave four here as well. I'm just not quite sure how that will play out, but uh, expecting a little bit more momentum to finish off to the downside, then an ABC pattern and then down here for um, for uh, wave four here. So we'll need, we're gonna stop at 176, so we'll need to do the same as well. Um, we can allow that to play out. Don't get stopped out, just move that down. And then we can either take some money off the table on the B wave bounce um, or ride this out here. That's something that you'll need to uh, decide. This is a weekly chart for NVIDIA. And um, yeah, so, uh, I think so. I've got green, uh, blue wave um, three in in play uh, here. So we're looking at the other markets that we're looking for. Just generally speaking, Nvidia has already started its correction a little bit earlier than the other guys. So, but the other markets we've got sort of the first move down. We're looking for the second and the third, right? So the same thing could happen here. This could actually. get a bit more complicated if we add this here you know this bit to this bit here of the other markets so we could end up with something a little bit more complicated going on in this space here now obviously this market looks really sort of quite uh, toppy and um, and so on. but whichever way you look at it it's not it's not the top of the market and it's not it's not the end of Nvidia and all the rest of it do you know what I mean it's um, it just doesn't sort of make any fundamental uh, sense and it doesn't make any technical sense and uh, and so on so we're probably looking at this wave three here with with um, with this so from the weekly chart we'll just go into the daily chart I think we've got here so yeah so we could label this the A, the B, and the C, and that's okay like that. But like I said, those other markets um, that we've just been looking at, we're looking at five waves here, one, two, three, four, five. So we need to come down here a little bit further. But I think that may just end up being the A wave here. Then we'll have a B wave here, and then a C wave here. So I think that we could end up 
Um, but we probably won't go too far down here, by the way, either, because the 38.2% retracement level is already basically in play here at 38.2. So I don't think that it's going to come, you know, too far down. I think it's already got it. Um, you know, it's already got its distance uh, there on that. So I think that will play out quite strongly. Um, you know, across this level here. Now, will that turn into a triangle pattern as an A, B, C, D, and E over here, or something like that, or an A and a B and a C? So an A, B, C for the A wave, the B wave, and the C wave, or W, X, Y. Not sure, but we, I don't think it's going to come down too far. That's what I'm saying, you know. So on the tick chart uh, here. Um, We've been working at it. We've been working at um, this here as an A and a B and a C. But I just had this one degree smaller, so I've lifted it up one degree. So I'm going to look at this as the A, the B, and the C here. Now, this is this is something you know that I don't have solid answers for. It's just something that we have to work through. Now, this extra leg here is just something that other markets will be doing, like the majority of them. So if the majority are going to be doing them, well then we've got to take that on board a bit. You know. I mean so um, yeah so uh, I could put wave 5 here on that low here um, but I'll just see how all of this mess plays out uh, here first you know we've got the beginning here and the middles right in the middle here we don't really have a full ending here for this just yet so we'll just um, we'll just wait for that. So it's just going to get a bit sort of messy within all of this, but we don't need to be doing anything at this stage. And like I said, it's it's pretty much pulled back to its 38.2%. So the 110 is probably going to be a nice support for that um, for this area. And this is we've seen this one before. This is we're looking at this in two different ways. This top here, and this is probably the right way here. Um, this is on a weekly chart here. So very much like Amazon really, you know, taking the old high out by a bit, hitting, you know, obviously different numbers, Amazon's at 200, this is a 500, but um, sort of very much the same thing. So once again here, um, we we're looking at this in more of a bullish light as one and two here, um, and I'm still going to keep that, still going to look at that again, but um, this is probably the case here, we'll need to work through that as a wave four so from that weekly chart to a daily chart maybe okay this was the other this was the other count that we're looking at here so this would need to push up here at, the, at this stage and um so but basically what will probably happen here i'll just see how this sort of plays out here but i think what we need to do is expect something like this here that would probably be the case but it's just something that that we'll need to work through, that's all, you know. So this is the other count here for this, but I'll just go in here and I guess I haven't really updated this one here. It's sort of held there and we do have a little bit of a scrappy five wave structure up here. It's not the best, um, but we'll just play it out a little bit and see how it goes, okay? So we'll just give it a session or two and we'll see what how that occurs. Now, Netflix over here. So I've got this here. This plays pretty good on this wave three, but um, if we're going to shift all the other markets over, then I'll have to try to re-understand this particular move here. But um, the other thing that I wanted to see here is that um, I think there was some uh, some news on this, and it got a bit sort of got a bit messy. Let me just go to the intraday here because it didn't show up, showed up on the daily there, but this particular move here, if I can just um, bring, you see how this is Netflix here, you see how it had this, in the aftermarket it had this spiky bit here, so I don't know if I need to include this bit here, how I'm going to sort of look at that, so I'll just let that settle for a little bit, and then we'll um, look, it didn't show up on this aftermarket, on, on this one here, it hasn't got the aftermarket on it, um, so I just really want to see how this plays out. We don't really need to do anything at this at this stage. The volume has still got this to the downside. There's still pressure on the downside for this one here. And then we come over to um, to Alphabet, and I've got to put minimum. I've got to put this wave th three in here. Um, 
Once again, I've got three waves down here. I'll go and have a look at this end. I should expect this to get a little bit bigger here. Um, but there's also good support within group two here on this. But let's just go to the 1000 ticks here and uh, look at this here. So last time we spoke, we had this as an A and a B and a C wave to come down here. Um, I've got this Alt B over here. So this, this whole thing could get a little larger as well here. Um, so I've got this wave A here because I could count this down as one, two, three, four, and five here, that fits. So that would give me five waves to where that is. So it's not really giving me five waves up here. So it's looking like a wave four. So that's where I've got that. So I can see the two different ways that it can be counted. So I just want to see if we actually just push up to here. If we push up here and take that top, we'll get support on the 180, let's say. Um, then I can consider this being one, two, three, four, five here, which kind of makes sense. Um, but I'm just not really getting the nice impulse wave off the low here. So it's giving me more, more like a wave four vibe here. So if it comes down here, then I'll know that we've got this one. But it still doesn't get us out. So we're just going to have to monitor this situation for a while. Um, <clears throat> so uh, let's just keep an eye on that. Nothing to do at this point. And the same with Microsoft as well. I'm just fitting this into this particular count. Um, probably, um, probably need to bring Microsoft and Google into this into this wave three here. But we'll just see how we go with this. And this is on one week, so I'll just go to the daily chart here. And uh, <clears throat> so I've sort of gone back to an old count here of one, two, three, four, five up here to get this wave three here and then we would look at this wave four so now we need to work through this wave four now like other wave fours it has moved up quite nicely off its lows here and you know it could go up there as wave five you know but at the same time we just need to be a little bit careful we get some sort of abc up there and then this and then that so there's a little bit of work to be done with all of this that's the tricky bit with wave fours now <clears throat> You know, I can count it as one, two, three, four, five for the A wave, the B wave, and then count this down. Um, well, I've got this spike here too, so that doesn't really sort of help as well. But I'll just, we'll just see. I'll be able to pick the thread up, but um, it's quite possible, you know, to get this situation here before going up. So, um, yeah, let's just leave this one here as well. And then we come over to Tesla, and what are, the reason for showing this weekly chart here for Tesla is that <clears throat> we've been looking at this as as a little one and two here, and then a wave three here, and everything's going fine, and we've got a, you know we've got a few long trades in here and those sort of things. So we're <clears throat> we're in this wave four at the moment, so we need that to finish. What we need here is we need to get that fifth wave up here at some point. And if we do get that, then we're gonna get an ABC pattern back here, and then we're gonna move up again. That's what I'm thinking. But the reality, the, 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 the fact at the moment is really we've only got three waves up here. So if this sort of slides back down here, then we're left with three waves here. And it does sort of open up a, a bigger correction because we've got this as one and two here, and uh, which is in line with most other markets really. And then, um, and then one and two here. But this move here can be a B wave here as an A, B, C pattern here. I could still put this over here, actually. I could have this as an A and a B and a C wave over here. But so whichever way this plays out here, I, I understand that it can be done in two ways. But at the end of the day, I need to look for something else that's going to be helpful to me. And that is getting this five waves up here. If we get five waves here, that means we'll get another five up here. And that's what we're looking for. So what I'm trying to say is we don't have five waves up here yet. It looks good as one, two, three, and we got our long positions in and we did everything in the right way, but um, we don't have those five waves yet. Okay, so that's something that we need to work through and just cutting through from the weekly into the intraday uh, here where we have been. So we've had this wave one here and two here. And 
we've got a few positions in here so i would stay long here until <clears throat> this number here the number two within group one of major level two here because if this became the retested resistance this number then we'll be out of this market but i'm not going to be pushed out from fear or some you know emotional sort of thing so um if that number there becomes the retested resistance then we'll move out at that point in the meantime we're looking for wave four so we're going to be looking at this as the a the b and then we're going to look at this as the c wave here now um i'm thinking that we need to look at well i can see we've clearly got five waves here a little bit of overlap there but i'm not going to worry about that um we can look at wave two here i suppose you know i can't really get far because i was thinking can we look at this as an a and a b and a c for wave two over here you know i don't think that's the case i think we need to look at this here um as one and two here and then looking down this is one two uh one two um i'll have to just double check that but uh three four so basically we've got a bit more to play out here for this now we were going to go along above or here here and here and here so now we'll, we'll end up over here somewhere you know if we can see that we can move up from that point we just got to be careful it doesn't turn into an impulse wave and continue to the downside but we'll protect those long positions uh, at that point um <clears throat> yeah we'll just allow this to play out here um <clears throat> so we'll probably you know get a bounce off three at uh, off 230 at some point then it'll jab down and that will be it and we'll see if we get five waves up here that's what we're looking for here and if we can get five waves up there then we can start building you know on this side over here for this and then we come over to bitcoin so bitcoin here won't go into the bigger picture but we've got wave four here wave four low so we're in this big sort of um a b c here a bit the same as tech stocks really and um and then we're looking for a bullish market to the upside so if we get five waves up which we don't have yet but we're at number three here so we'll get four and five here if we get those five waves from this point one two three four five here if we get five waves here then we're going to have an abc correction and then we'll move up into wave three at that point now i have put long trades in for uh for bitcoin ethereum and solana but when we get this pullback here um we'll be loading some other trades up any market that has um got the same basically the same pattern here we could work the same so we'll be looking for adding long trades when this comes back when this wave two pulls back here sometimes wave two can be quite shallow um sometimes it can pull back quite deeply so we'll just see how the cookie crumbles and uh, we'll see we'll see what we where we are uh, with all of this and uh yeah i was just sort of thinking we'll come up to 70 72 or something and pull back and you know and then push up again <coughs> i'm not leaving far from the 65 here all righty that's it uh yeah so just sort of recapping is that obviously we're in a correction and we need to just simply work through it that's all you know and uh uh it'll take a little while um once the full moon phases out i guess all righty cheers